Now we saw how to convert and container to an image. Let's see, uh, do it practically. So here I'm in my container, so I would first exit so that I can get back to my Docker terminal. And here I will clear my screen. Okay, now to commit, I should first know what is the container. Okay, so I will just do a Docker a ps command and the container is not running so i think i should do a doc as p a hyphen a come option so i have a container id to make a container make an image from a container i will create docker and i'll use the commit and i'll pass the container id so this is the container id which i can copy and paste okay now it is committing. I have a three commit, three M's in a commit. Yeah, I got the commit here, and then it returns the key here, right? So let me see if I have a new image. How do you find out where if there is an image out there? So you would use Docker command images, okay? And then let's see a hyphen A, right? You see that. I have created an image. This is my first one, and this is the one which I created now. Right? I have just created this image from the previous one. This is an image, not a container. So I don't think we needed this hyphen A option. So just showing the Docker images is here. Now, uh, the name of this image is not right. So the option to do that is I will use Docker. And I will use the uh, the way to do it is use the tag option, and then I will tag it with I'll use the tag for this container ID. Okay, this is the image ID. So I'll take this image ID, paste it here, and I'll give it some some name. So I'll say my Ubuntu. Okay. Yes, you cannot use an uppercase, so hyphen my Ubuntu. Right, so let me do that uh, Docker images and let me check if the name has been created. Right, you see, this is my Ubuntu here. However, what happened here is it was a two step process, right? And first, I did a commit and then I went ahead and tagged with the name to get a name. You can do that in one command. To do that, all that I can do is I, when I go to commit, right, I'm committing this uh, image, I can give it a name here itself. So I'll give it a name, my Ubuntu 2. Right, so this is in one shot. I just get the tag name L also done. So if I now check if there is a third one. So I have created two images. Now I can give these images to my developers or to my customers or to the testing team to check if it works as uh, I have prepared it.